start off this video by apologizing if I seem scatterbrained. It's been a long, chaotic day. I've done a bunch of interviews already. Um, I'm just now getting back to my car from the Unite the Right rally. I'm already seeing some falsehoods being perpetuated about what went on today. And so I just wanted to address a few of those. Uh, first, I'm seeing on social media that this was an illegal march or illegal rally, illegal gathering, um, which n none of those things are true. All the proper permissions were given ahead of time. Uh, the reason that it was shut down was because Antifa and the leftists came and got violent with us. So they were successfully able to shut us up and shut us down by getting violent with us, uh, which makes them the fascist, but I won't get into that in this video. It's another thing that I'm seeing uh, perpetuated even in the mainstream media narrative uh, was that we were the agitators. It's just not true. Uh, they came, they started uh, pepper spraying people and uh, getting in people's faces, uh, threatening them. Uh, that's why it was shut down. Uh, not for anything that we did. They were the agitators. Um, so when the disbursement happened, that's what I want to talk about. When the disbursement happened, the police came and kicked us out and even followed us down the street to make sure that we dispersed out of the entire downtown area. Meanwhile, they did not tell the leftist groups or Antifa that they had to disperse. They didn't enforce that rule on them at all. They just allowed them to gather freely in the streets, roam freely, run wild. And so uh, eventually all those groups ended up uh, getting together behind us as we were being escorted out of the downtown area and they followed us to the end of the downtown area and then uh, as, as we were finishing up our disbursement uh, they had taken over control of all of the main street strip downtown Charlottesville and the entire block one block over I have uh, video footage of uh, the street that they had basically taken over and uh, and that's where the incident that everybody's talking about happened, where uh, a car sped off and ran over some people. And uh, I wouldn't be so quick to judge. I was there when it happened. It happened quick. There was, it was chaotic. It, it was chaos all over the city at the time, especially in that area. That was, that was the worst spot. Uh, they had taken over two blocks side by side right there. And uh, the, the vehicle that's seen speeding into the uh, crowd of people was stuck between the two blocks that Antifa had taken over. So the car really didn't have a place to go. And uh, so I, I wouldn't be so quick to judge. In fact, I would encourage you all who are unfamiliar um, with the uh, Reginald Denny story from the L.A. riots to go look at that video where a uh, trucker was pulled out of his truck at a red light during the L.A. riots and beaten nearly to death. Um, and I would just keep, you know, situations like that in mind. Um, it, it's easy to sit behind a computer and watch a video and uh, break it down and judge people's actions, but uh, it, it's hard to understand uh, how chaotic it was. Um and the, the main point that I wanted to get out was that that whole situation would have been avoided if the police would have equally enforced their disbursement of the downtown area to the leftist and Antifa the way that they enforced it with us. Uh, they, they enforced it with us and escorted us out of the downtown area but let them congregate right there and take over those two blocks, which is what led to that incident. And uh, it, it, it's tragic, but it was entirely avoidable. Um, I'm seeing a lot of mainstream media narratives, and I talked to I talked to CNN. Um, I, I talked to some other pretty. Uh, mainstream 
news sources too. Uh, CNN is who I talk to most extensively. But they're but they're pushing this narrative that the alt right came into town to cause trouble, and all of these people that were here uh, getting violent with us and trying to uh, shut it down. The media's first off, they're not even referring to them by name. You haven't heard any mainstream media. You haven't heard Fox News or CNN or anyone uh, say Antifa all day, but. Uh, but they're quick to condemn the alt-right. Uh, they just want to blame us for everything that happened here today, um, w which, you know, I get it. They're the enemy. Uh, that's their narrative. They're trying to paint us as the bad guys. Um, but I was here firsthand. I have videos. Uh, that's just not how it went down. Mainstream media is lying to you taking up for these leftists, taking up for Antifa. Uh, it, it's, it's really a shame that uh, the, the police aided the leftist and the Antifa in shutting down a free speech political rally. It's really a shame that that led to the death of a person. It was all very unavoidable, but the priorities was not in keeping the peace or anything like that. If the priorities was keeping the peace, they would have kicked everybody out, not just us. But no, the, the priority was shutting us up, shutting us down. And uh, they were successful in doing that today. I, uh, I suggest round two. That's all.